we are going to take some people that have been beneficiaries of the massive grace of this commission and what it has meant in their lives. This segment is titled Impact of Grace. We'll do that shortly. If we have done that and there is time, fine, if there's no time, we'll close for the morning session. Reverend Ntia Ntia, can you step forward? He has a story or stories to tell. A story or stories to tell, you will hear from him and then maybe if we hear from another person. Church, praise the Lord. Come on, church, praise the Lord. What a massive, massive, undeniable abundance of evidence. 25 years of exploits. And we've been privileged to be a part of the last 20 of those years. November this year will make it 20 years since we came from the first November program. And of course, uh, where we are today is not where we used to be. And that is uh, proof. The Bible speaking in Jeremiah 3 verse 15, he said, I will give unto you pastors after my own heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Truth be told, one of the best things that happened to us was meeting God's servant as spiritual father through a tape. Someone gave me a tape running with vision. And after playing that tape, it was my desire to meet with him. And so we had the privilege of meeting him when he came for a program in Calabar. And we traveled down to Calabar and were obliged by the person that hosted him to meet with him. And when we met with him, we told him our intention that we've been feeding on that tip. And so that led our journey of submission. We came here in November. Uh, it was a night journey through a night bus. That's the kind of bus you take when there's no other option. And then along the way, it broke down. We got down here. The hotel we stayed, uh, it was so good that the toilet didn't have a door. But it didn't matter. You see, one of the things we've learned, I've learned from my spiritual father, is that it's not where you sit that matters. It is what sits inside you that matters. And so if what you are pursuing will change your life, it is worth the price. And I remember that first day we sat somewhere in the crowd there in Area 1, and after the service, we meet. And from that day, um, we had taken time to treasure the 10,000 we could save. And it, nothing touched that money no matter what. So finally we met and were able to drop that first seed. Brothers and sisters, from that first day, it has been from level to level to level. Submission under pastoral covering is a plus, never a minus. The voice of your pastor, your prophet, is to push you into your profit. And by the grace of God, we are living proofs that when you submit under cover, it doesn't reduce you. It raises you. It increases you. And by the grace of God, we've come to realize that divine presence is more important than public show of ministry. It's not enough to look successful. There is something you will never have if you lack God's presence. And so we saw in him hunger that cannot be conquered. And that, uh, it, it recruited me into a, 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 an, an unending press for hunger. 
there's nothing you have seen so far that is compared to what you are yet to see well by the grace of god we were privileged for daddy to visit our ministry in uyo where we pastor and um we're using a boom hall then and um, from the first day he has spoken us into new levels at that time we didn't have any property we have any land and he said that he sees the church having a land by a major road and from nowhere the land came up and we're able to pick up the first property and by the grace of god he said again that he sees something bigger along a major road and the kind of road he described didn't exist yet in our state and god so doing later on an airport was built and the major road the most strategic road in the city we were by that prophetic word things just opened up and we're able to acquire massive acres of land along there which is our campground right now along the airport road and i remember that that was exactly the prophecy he gave several several years back by the grace of god we we come from a part where uh, people arrive very quickly you see nothing and you are satisfied but we've come to learn that your intimacy with god is more important than public show of ministry we've come to realize that it's not preaching that makes ministry it is the palpable presence of God. These are the things that have been driving us. By the grace of God, God has reproduced what we see here in our lives. I remember some years ago in Area 1, that time we just, we didn't see crowd. And one day, Daddy was just ministering and he just turned and called me. He said, go round. And so I went round inside. He said, go round outside. I went round outside overflow one overflow two overflow three overflow four overflow five overflow across the road and i walked around all that after we returned from that conference we started having overflow the the, the place erupted and the attendance exploded and by the grace of god pursuing the grace upon the life of our spiritual father has kept pulling us from level to level to level i remember a time when um i suffered a kidnap incident and um, when the information was put across to him he flew into the town and that was on a i think it was on a tuesday or so he flew in and held a prayer meeting in the church and uh, by the next day wednesday i was released you know by the power of prophetic declaration and that is that is the present structure we have there now this this land um the first structure we're trying to build we built it and uh, it got to the gallery and it just it just stopped there i mean after the gallery everything finished for months and so all i would do was go there and dance and sing and dance and sing then one day he came into town and so i went and I told him, sir, we have the building project. It's, we, we call it the old Noah's Ark. This is the new Noah's Ark. So he came. And as he was just entering there and praying, he just said, one person is going to roof this project in Jesus' name. After he left, somebody that has been in the place looking at us since just came up. He said, he said the Lord told him to bring the money for the long span. You know one person millions. is going to roof this place one person millions and then came back again after a few days that money was not complete and gave the balance of the money for the whole roofing project and that was how god used the prophetic word of my spiritual father to put us there and by the grace of god we stayed there and as we saw multiple services here we also started having multiple services first service second service third service fourth service and then by the grace of god i felt led in my spirit that we should bring down that four thousand seat auditorium and build something else and of course uh, i had learned from him that before he does anything he goes to meet his spiritual father 
and approval prophetic approval and blessing is received and so i came with the plan and said sir this is what we want to do and he lives okay and he put his hands on the plan and commanded building grow and we returned <laughs> you know even the building committee people didn't believe that uh, that i knew what i was doing that is that is the chairman of the building committee later confessed to me that he never thought that the building project will ever be a success but by the grace of god that 4000 seat auditorium was brought down and then the 10000 seat auditorium that is uh, that we've been using Show it again. is is there now Inside. the new noah's act and we are running three services in that uh, auditorium and by the grace of god it has been one speaking after another shifting us from level to level i want to say that it matters what you hear it matters who speaks into your life it matters the principles that drive you without principles i don't think we would have made it up till this time because the things we have seen and we remain humble are the things that people never used to see one tenth of it around where we come from and pride will destroy so many people we've seen principles we've seen power we've seen prosperity with purity we have seen that it is possible to have proofs and remain humble i want to say sir that for us 20 years has been worth all every step every day every time we come the word is a blast every time we come we see passages and we go back and wonder is it not the same passages i've been studying and and god has used you to steer us and lead us by the grace of God, I and my wife, we see the way God is helping daddy and mommy. And marriage is getting sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. My wife uh, has a standing instruction that if at any point in time she thinks that there's something she's trying to say and I can't hear, that she should just inform my spiritual father. And, um, and I know my spiritual father he he loves you enough not to fear your face and so and so by the grace of god it has been a sweet journey from level to level and we can't wait for what the next 25 years will be like by the grace of god we remain permanently undercover we have seen god announce us we are on cable tv around the world we are we have as at the time we came we didn't have even one branch but now we have branches in so many places and god is taking us from glory to glory we've seen miracles we've seen all manner of things we've seen things objects removed from people's bodies we've seen um, the power of god deliver people we've seen people rescued from uh, uh, ritualists and from all manner uh, something happened not long ago a young man in church um, just the family arrived church and they were about going into the church when the young man just stepped aside and right outside the church there uh, they placed chloroform on his face and he was picked up and uh, after the third service the father ran to me and said he can't find the son i said why where what happened and i remember you know the kind of things god does here and i told him kneel down in the name that is above i told him where we come from things like this don't happen and so we gave a decree that the boy will be recovered and restored by the grace of god as at that evening according to his story they already arrived one village inside lagos inside 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 lagos and he said that before his eyes people people were being killed but they just kept jumping him and he kept jumping him after like the third day one of the ritualists said i don't know why but i must help you escape and that is how he said i'm going to open the door when people are asleep run for your life that's how miraculously by a decree the young man was recovered and he was brought back alive we thank god for the help that we have enjoyed sitting under our spiritual father daddy we are grateful to god that he connected us with this oil i look at it like the towing van principle even if the vehicle does not have engine even if the tires are scattered ruptured and punctured if you can connect yourself with a towing van no matter where the van reaches you can be sure you will get there thank you sir 
Hallelujah. Go ahead and give the Lord a praise. Congratulations for finishing before the time. Because I know you have the anointing for everlasting message. <laughs> give the Lord. Am I, is that correct, uh, madam? <laughs> give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Do you see that following does not reduce anybody? It doesn't, they, there are so many people trying to prove a point with less than one tenth of what we just saw. They only showed you the, 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 the crowd inside. The, you didn't see any overflow. When I went for the convention, overflow everywhere everywhere other buildings and all he did was go out and see the over in the Rwandan overflow 14 go and see he went and saw his mind i said go and see he saw the inside he came back i said go outside he went outside went outside the fence his mind changed that was the beginning of overflow it's a new day for you something is changing in your life go ahead and give the lord